live room is setting up. Oh, okay, it's on now. Okay, thank you. Thanks for checking out. I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, okay, please keep an eye on filming. It looks good. Okay. So, um, who I am, any other Who you facts? are, what you're doing here, okay. and then they will ask them, who's going to ask the first question? And then you second, you third, you fourth. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So my name is Lara Loomis. I, 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 excuse me. Yep. Um, please begin. In th Hi, my name is Lara Loomis. I am a representative from Avtech, or Alaska's Institute of Technology, and I am here today presenting the different opportunities that we have to prospective students so that all of the students here at the high school and uh, apparently some of the middle school students as well just have more information at their disposal so they can make informed decisions when they come to choosing either a college or career path. So like other than having good math and reading skills and punctuality, how can a student better prepare himself for going to Aptech? The most important thing uh, that we like to see from our students is success. So other than making sure they have the appropriate level of math and reading skills, uh, which is around ninth grade level or higher because we can help with the rest, we want to make sure that our students made the proper choice of coming to Avtech. We would rather a student not come to Avtech and choose something that's more appropriate than end up at Avtech and realize that they made the wrong choice. So the best way a student can prepare in that aspect is to definitely take courses in the different fields that they're interested in. So if that's diesel heavy, they can look into the mechanics shop here and take some classes there. If it's welding, they can take the welding courses. If it's the nursing programs, they can look into the health science programs you guys have here. That way they can get kind of their foot in the water and really know that this is something I enjoy doing, it's something that I like and I'm interested in, and it's something I can potentially see myself working with. Because again, we want our students to succeed once they're at Avtech, and a big piece of that is they really have to be interested in that area because they're going to then be doing it day in and day out for the next year that they're in school. Um, what are you looking for in a prospective student? So the main thing we're looking for is uh, somebody, again, who's very interested in the program that they're going into. They really uh, are curious about it or excited about it. They are going to be present in class. And then mainly that they just have a good head on their shoulders and they're an active participant in their own education. We don't want individuals that we really have to push. They need to be self-motivated to kind of push themselves. Um, and other than that, we just really want good, exciting, fun people. Our campus is uh, an exciting place. Everyone there has a really positive attitude and we want to continue to contribute to that. We don't want people that are showing up that are going to be negative. We don't want people showing up that are um, really struggling with a lot of stuff. We want them to be there and be able to focus on their studies. And if they start to struggle with that, we can assist with that. Um, but again, we just want someone who's really enthusiastic and positive and is really going to contribute to their own education and then be able to get out and work and really contribute to Alaska in general. Alright. So can you please share with us a story of a student who, from Bush, Alaska who has attended and benefited from Avtech? Uh, yeah, so one student that sticks out specifically um, I can't tell you their name, unfortunately, but we had a student who was from Bethel, and he attended Avtech because he needed to really support his family. They were really struggling. They were having some issues with their home, um, and he had four younger siblings. So he went to Avtech to pursue a career in construction technology. He completed that program his first semester and then chose to enroll in the plumbing and heating program his second semester. And that's one year's worth of programming, and he was out and ready to work, and he started working for a construction company that was building uh, new housing within a lot of the different villages up north. And he was doing that four weeks on, four weeks off. Once he was doing that, he was able to not only make good money, but he was able to then build the family home himself. 
So that saved him quite a bit of money because he gained those skills from Avtech. But then he was also able to use a lot of the wages that he was then earning because he was making really good competitive pay to help keep his sisters in school and in clothing and afford transportation and all of the stuff that his family needed. So he really stepped up and became the provider for his family because of the skills and the education that he earned at Avtech. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we thank you for your time. It was good talking with you. One more question. Oh wait. Yes, it's one more. Oh shoot. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, how does your school combine technical education with traditional knowledge? So, as far as traditional knowledge, um, like I said, we want our students to have good reading skills, good math skills. A lot of the stuff that we do is traditional in the fact that you're in a classroom setting. You're going to have reading assignments. You're going to have homework, that sort of thing. Um, but you're also spending 50 to 60% of your time doing hands-on training. So for our students, that means the students that succeed and do well at Avtech are very hands-on learners. They don't fit well within that norm of listening to lectures and taking notes, kind of like you guys are doing now, but you're doing an excellent job. Um, they're doing more hands-on work. So they're going to be in the classroom discussing concepts, and then they're going to go and actually apply those concepts. So we do a good job in that aspect as far as making sure we're well-rounded to suit several different types of learners. And then we also have a lot of up-and-coming stuff as, you know, technology advances and changes. So like I mentioned in the presentation, some of our students get issued iPads that already have their textbooks on them. So they're learning not only how to use the equipment, but they're learning how it's beneficial to them. So instead of carrying around 30 pounds of books, they have access to just the one um, piece of technology that now has everything that they need for their program. And we do do that for a couple of our programs, especially anything in IT, because they do carry around a lot of books otherwise. So we're doing a lot of stuff with that as well as far as bringing technology in the computer aspect of it uh, into our programs to help not only with the program itself, but making it beneficial to our students. We recognize that not all of our students have a lot of experience with computers, technology, as far as that goes. So we kind of help ease them into that, especially with those programs, so that, one, they're getting more accustomed to it as the world itself is changing in that area, and then, two, applying it to the work skills they need so they can be successful when they get out. I hope that answered your question. Do you have anything else for me or anything else you'd like to know about me, Avtech, the programs? Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else that you have on that that we haven't asked about? Ask. Wait. Is there anything that we haven't asked you about that you'd like to share with us about Avtech? Uh, yeah, so I, I unfortunately didn't have a lot of time to talk about it um, in the presentation either. I didn't want to waste anybody's time. Uh, but I think that Avtech is a very unique place and that it is a good fit for students who come from the school as well. We're very small, so that's something that students are used to. We have a very small student-to-teacher ratio, so our students have access to their instructors and our instructors are constantly helping them out instead of a large lecture style setting where there's 400 students to one instructor. Um, and I think that's important for students to realize because it's going to make for a more smooth transition for them if they leave because this is what they're used to, this is home, and it's hard to make that transition from high school to college and it's exceptionally hard when it's a big shock of going to this big open place. So Seward is unique that it is a really small community and people are very positive and it is a fun environment to be. But we like to carry that over to Avtech. All the instructors are very positive people. All the admin people are very positive. And we do what we can to go out of our way to help our students because, again, we want them to succeed and we want them to live happy, healthy lives and enjoy what they do. So in addition to all the fun, positive activities I mentioned in the PowerPoint presentation, we also will do anything that wasn't mentioned on there if it's what the students want to do. 
So if there's an individual or a group that comes to us and says, you know what, we just really enjoy playing dominoes and you guys don't have that. We're going to go get dominoes. We're going to look up the rules. We're going to start domino tournaments, you know, whatever it is. That's just an example. But that's the kind of stuff that Avtech can do for students. We're going to make that extra effort because we want them to succeed. And speaking from personal experience, I've been to universities where that isn't the case and it makes you feel like a number and not a person and we want our students to feel like people because that's what they are. So we treat them as such, we treat them as adults because they show up, they're 17, 18 plus years old, they are adults. So we do treat them like adults but we are going to help them with any of the stuff that they need. That's all I had to add. Well, thank you for your time. Shake hands. Thank you. I appreciate it. And and thank you for your time. This yeah. is wonderful. Um, guys, you did you did you did well. Yeah. Um, Good I notes. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the notes. notes. Tomorrow we'll write this up. I'm going to go take this home and we'll uh, and I'll edit it out. A simple edit, beginning yeah. and bonk, done, and. Um, and good, and we will have this up tomorrow afternoon. Um, is the video going to be on your website? I guess yes. I probably should have asked that in the in the interview, but um, yes, here let me let, let me show it to you. It's uh, you want me to stop uh, recording? It's on you guys. Mr. Are we done recording? Um, oh yeah, please turn it off. Um,